Howdy y'all, welcome back to Guns and Barbecue. So today, uh, we're gonna continue with the 870 rest, or excuse me, 760 restoration project. And we're gonna get some true oil on this stock. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it and what all you're gonna need to do. We've already sanded and prepped everything, so let's get to it. Now that the little intro is out of the way, uh, you're going to want to go and get yourself some uh, mineral spirits, turpentine, whatever you wish to call it. But we're actually going to cut the uh, true oil with mineral spirits, two parts to one. So the uh, reason we're going to do this is because the true oil, it's really thick, uh, like honey. And the first a uh, few coats that we're gonna do you want to make sure it gets really deep down into this wood uh, to give you a really nice finish at the end so you're gonna need some 220 sandpaper uh, probably some 320 uh, I don't have 320 so I'm gonna use 400 but that 320 or 400 is going to be used for uh, wet sanding later on but what we're gonna do is apply that True oil uh, cut with mineral spirits to the stock using a cotton rag or something like that. This is just a A-frame um, tank top, commonly known as a white beater. Uh, but you'll saturate this with that uh, mineral spirit and true oil, and just get it rubbed in real nice. When we're done doing that, what we're going to do is just sand the entire stock like immediately after don't uh you know don't waste any time just grab your 220 start sanding it what this is going to do is actually create a wood filler that is going to match the stock perfectly and fill in any pores imperfections things like that one thing i'm really hoping it does is where this stock had been fixed before is actually fills in these crack lines and helps hide them more. I honestly don't know if that's going to be a success or not, but we're going to see. We're going to do this about mm, three times. Probably buff it afterwards after it dries with um, chip a lot or even quadruple lot steel wool. Wipe off all the quad, wipe off all the steel wool dustings and uh, you know applicate again, sand again, buff with steel wool. Give it a couple hours to dry etc etc and just keep going like that so uh we'll be back after we get this first application done um oh and you should probably have a good pair of gloves this stuff can stink a little bit you don't want it sticking to your skin so uh see so you soon there is our mineral spirits and true oil uh dilution that's what it looks like uh your color can vary but should be somewhere right, in there. So bubble. we are back after the first coat. Uh, you probably don't notice much of a difference. It would also help if my light source hadn't died. I will get that fixed momentarily, but I wanted to get back to you before I started doing the second coat. So like I said, wet, well you could say I wet sanded it in a sense. Uh, sanded it while it was still wet with the 220. Um, like I said, that almost creates like a natural wood filler gets down into the pores, things like that helps fill stuff in it's gonna really smooth out that finish in the end um, as well as did it on the forend slide whatever you wish to call it but anyways um, now it's gotten dry uh, we're gonna be ready for coat two but before we did coat two I just took some uh, quadruple lot seal wool because that's what I have and just buff this whole thing uh, got it real nice and smooth. What I'm going to do now is just take some alcohol prep wipes and remove all of that steel wool dust. You're going to have it. Um, if you're doing anything with steel wool, it leaves this gritty dust behind. Just make sure you get it all cleaned off. Once you do that, um, you're just going to repeat the process again. So take that uh, cotton cloth, old cotton shirt, whatever it is that you're using, dip it down in the solution wipe it uh, liberally and even over the stock uh, in a sense wet sand with the 220 
let that um, get all soaked in and the sawdust work as a filler. And we're just gonna keep repeating that process. Probably gonna do that two more times. Uh, we'll come back after that third coat and uh, we'll share what we're gonna do next. All right, y'all, so just wanted to bring this outside. This has sat overnight since the third coat. Um, what I'm gonna do is just, again, sand uh, with 220, buff it with the quadruple lot steel wool. As you can see, it's starting to get a reflective uh, quality to it. The more you do this, the higher gloss finish you're gonna get when you go and do the final um, application of the true oil. So, uh, Really what it boils down to is how much work do you want to put into it, but I've already done three coats and uh, I'm thinking I might do five or six at this point really liking uh, The result so far so uh, Yeah, we're gonna keep on going because I'm not doing anything else and why not? All right, so we're back um, Have done a fourth and fifth coat not seeing much difference in each application now so what I'm going to move on to is actually applying the true oil in its 100% uh, form no longer diluted with uh, mineral spirits and for an applicator just these two phalanges right here uh, true oil is best applicated in its uh, you know undiluted form uh, just with your fingers get it rubbed in really nice that heat from your fingers is gonna help uh, really massage it into the wood and get it down there nice and deep uh, with all the wet sanding with the or excuse me with all the sanding while the oil was still wet we really got a lot of these pores filled in which is gonna help a lot uh, bring out that luster that um, you might be looking for honestly I'm still waiting for my cousin's husband to get a hold of me to see how he wants this if he wants it to be like a high gloss or a matte finish or satin or anything like that or you know, for all I know he might like it like this I don't know but uh, that's what's going on here uh, just wanted to tell you guys the next step so like I said true oil uncut uh, in its purest form just use your fingers to rub it in and again uh, we're gonna let it start to dry up just a tad bit. Wet sand it with uh, 400 grit, because that's what I have, 320. Uh, probably be a little bit better, but 400 grit is gonna be just fine. Uh, wet sand it, let it dry for a couple hours, do it again, and uh, just keep repeating that process till we get the sheen that we want. Now, you may not be able to tell how much true oil is actually there, but it's not a whole lot. And as you can see, like I said, this is kind of the consistency of honey, maybe just a little bit thinner, but anyways, uh, you don't need a whole lot to finish the stock. Uh, just put a little bit in a container like this and uh, go to town. Howdy y'all. So we are getting a nearly mirror finish at this point. If you look close enough in there, um, yeah, I can actually see my face if I hold it close enough to my face to do so. But uh, so we're going to do one more full coat of true oil after, well excuse me, I shouldn't say one more. We're gonna wet sand this one last time with the 400 grit uh, sandpaper. Uh, 320 would be ideal, but I don't have 320. But uh, so the 400 grit is gonna do just fine. Might take a little bit more elbow grease, but like I said, no big deal. After I do that, I'm gonna buff it out with uh, the quadruple lot steel wool and then do another coat of full strength after I do that we're not gonna wet sand it all we're gonna do is buff it with the steel wool after a couple hours after that is done I'm going to do another coat buff it another coat buff it until I am happy with the desired finish um, honestly after we do this final wet sanding it shouldn't take more than three maybe four coats to get the finish I'm desiring. Uh, like I said, at that point, all you're doing is buffing with steel wool. Make sure to get all the steel wool dust off there, but um, this is pretty straightforward at this point. Um, just applicating with your fingers, getting it rubbed in there. Uh, you know, the theory is the heat from your fingers rubbing it in helps get it down into the pores of the wood more because of the heat. Um, 
is that true or not? I don't know. It's just things that I've heard over the years. But um, we're getting somewhere here now. And uh, yeah, we'll see you after we do those three coats and buff and whatnot. All right, y'all. So the stock is done. Uh, has turned out really nice. Got a gorgeous satin finish to it. Um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, this turned out really, really well. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of work with this, uh, getting the finish that you want out of it. But, um, if you put the effort in, it is very, very worth it. So, just wanted to get out here in the daylight, show you how it looks. Uh, let me know what you think down in the description. Again, very sorry that I film these, uh, quote-unquote how-to videos the way I do. But, YouTube is really picky about stuff uh, honestly even doing a how-to video is usually frowned upon I just had one removed um, that was filmed just like this where I'm not showing diddly squat just hey we're gonna do this this and this uh, just as I did in this video so uh, hopefully they don't do anything with this one because it will get me a channel strike and then I won't be able to do anything for a week so um, yeah fingers crossed but uh, you know really all I'm doing here is showing you how to stay in a piece of wood that really should not be an issue but um, hit those like comment share and subscribe buttons and uh, we'll do one more video on this 760 and with that video it will be all back together so uh, be looking forward to that mm -hmm.